So high ROI on emotional resilience. So let's talk about how we actually get it, okay? There are seven steps. These map to chapters in Power Your Tribe, okay? So it's all kind of one little methodology, if you will. I know we had some kind of glary stuff yesterday as well, so, so bear with us. And you all have this PowerPoint up on the website, okay? So first we need to release resistance because we put so much energy when we are resisting something. We'll talk about that in a sec. Increasing rapport with ourselves, understanding kind of how am I feeling here? What is my experience? We want to make new meaning. Notice the stories we're telling ourselves. Human beings are meaning-making machines. How many of you have been to a dinner party with somebody and you said, wow, that was a great party? And they said, that was an awful party. Wow, that was a great movie. That was an awful movie. You're like, what was it like over on your map of the world? Because on my map of the world, it was an awesome movie. Yeah? So we all have different maps of the world based on how we were raised, based on um, what we learned from our parents, et cetera, socioeconomic, religious, et cetera, education. So we can be having the same external experience with a very different internal experience. So I want us to start to think about how we make meaning. Shakespeare was right. Nothing is good or bad. Only thinking makes it so, right? You can reframe anything. And I want us to think about the stories we tell ourselves about what's happening outside of us, okay? Start to notice that because the stories you're telling yourself are the stories you're telling your team. You are telling your team to be emotionally resilient or not. Wow, this is going to be a really hard quarter, everybody. Okay. <laughs> Reality is what you say it is. <laughs> or how cool that we have these challenges that we are going to totally overcome this quarter. How cool that like we are the sort of people, you know, that chew up rocks and spit out gravel. You know, yeah, challenge. Bring it on, brother. I am ready. You know, what are we telling our people to feel? because they are definitely watching you. And I cited Lionel Tar Tiger yesterday and his research from Rutgers on how we're 4% different from primates. So we think that we're super sophisticated you know, humans. Uh, we're basically monkeys, okay? DNA, 4% different from monkeys. Monkeys are constantly looking at, at their leader, determining how they should emotionally feel based on what emotions they experience from their leader. Anchoring the outcome, you're going to learn about visual kinesthetic um, auditory anchors in the book. We don't have time today. And rolling and engaging others, tribal agility, tribal power. I'm going to spend a few minutes on this. Okay, so let's go. 